Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about food storage at home. Okay, I live in a typical 1950s three bed semi detached house. Um, three bedrooms with a bathroom upstairs, we've got a dining room, kitchen, and living room downstairs. Also, got this little pantry here, which uh, is chopped to the rafters. Everything. It's got our microwave in, used to have a boiler in. I've put the boiler outside now, so we've got some storage for, I've got my cartons of drink and everything else down there. Um, what we used to have was a cupboard under the stairs to keep the hoover and stuff in. There used to be two little doors that used to open inwards, so we used to lose most of the space in that cupboard. I kept thinking there must be a better way, what I can do with uh, storage in here. I like to keep a lot of tinned food in, on, in storage. It's not just about self-sufficiency, it's about self-reliance. So making sure that we've got food in, in case of an emergency or something like that. And uh, I also like to make sure I don't waste any food. So having um, having it all rotating uh, and not have, finding something from, you know, predates the war or something in the back of the cupboard is, is really good. So what I did in the end is I created a can storage door. So this door, as you can see, is as thick as um, a tin can. It holds 102 cans of tin food, you can see how it's divided up there. Um, underneath down here is a wheel which carries the weight of it to one side. I put some blackboard paint across there so I can label up each one um, so you can see what, what we've got. It's also really obvious how many tins of everything you've got straight away. You can open the cupboard and you can see, okay I need to buy four more tins of tomatoes, um, another tin of chickpeas. Uh, it's really good to know how, what food we've got on hand, so it's, it's handy when we go shopping. It's easy to keep stock. I mean, the sell-by date on all this stuff is really long anyway, so it's not going to go off uh, anytime soon. But also, you always take the oldest tin first, and uh, that way, the new ones go in at the top. I, mean, I bought all those at the same time, so it doesn't matter, I'm wrecking the rotation. Um, yeah, that's my can storage rotator door thing. Okay, so if you've liked this video, please click the thumbs up, hit subscribe and pop over to the blog, leave a comment and uh, let me know what else you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up.